it's simple. We're in lockdown and we're miserable. But there is a way to turn that around and start living with richness in our own homes with these few simple steps. Step one, I want you to start binge watching TV. If you're anything like me, then you're obsessed with luxury, opulence and extravagance. But in order to become a member of a higher society, we first need to educate ourselves on the life that we seek. And let's be honest, we're all already binge watching TV anyway, so why not make it useful? You've probably exhausted all of your options on Netflix, so here are some free to watch options sure to open your eyes to the world of luxury that awaits you. You never get bored in Monaco. Ever wondered what people get up to in a beautiful yet exclusive country where they don't pay taxes? No? Well, neither had I, until I watched this. Learn all about the country that was blessed with Grace Kelly, the Princess of Monaco, and how the country runs today. I adore documentaries that show us the juicy behind the scenes of luxury hotels as you can observe the way that customers are dressed, how they behave, and what to expect when visiting a place like this yourself. There it is, it kind of just pokes out the landscape. It's properly impressive. With this Georgian manor, you won't be short of space for a knees up. This is one for the history buffs out there. You can learn all you need to know about how old money functions, where it came from and how they managed to build the impressive manor homes we so long to have our fairy tale weddings in. Watching programmes like this really help you to get an understanding of what type of luxury you're into, what to avoid and how to carry yourself in whichever society you choose. I also recommend watching old Hollywood films as, back then, they lived a life so different to ours now and the perception of masculine and feminine was so apparent in that time. You will learn some tips and tricks from the originators of Hollywood glamour that will hopefully push you forward. These are a little bit harder to find, but some good movies are Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, High Society, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and The Seven Year Itch. Step 2. No more loungewear. This year, I want more of us to say good riddance to the loungewear trend. It's been proven that what you wear definitely affects your mentality, so it's no wonder why we procrastinate when we're in our pyjamas or comfy clothes all day long. It's time to stop living in unwashed, overused and unflattering clothes and start this new year right. I know, you're probably thinking, well what on earth am I supposed to wear? It's actually not as daunting as you may think. There are a few easy ways you can go about this. Firstly, find comfortable clothes that also look put together. For example, knitted dresses. They give you comfort because they're not too rigid and they often stretch to your body. They're also easy to dress up with a pair of heels for indoor date nights or put on a pair of tights underneath and you're ready for a walk. Secondly, elevate your favourite items through hair and makeup. It's incredible how different you'll look and feel once you start doing your hair and makeup again. It'll encourage you to start dressing better for yourself if your face is already looking glamorous and your hair matches. You don't have to go full glam every day, but even just doing your eyebrows will heighten your appearance instantly. Lastly, have on and off days. It will be hard to retrain yourself to look smart every day, so start by having every other day or every two days as your smart days, and then the other days you can be a bit more relaxed. Eventually, it will become a much loved habit. Step 3. Sell, sell, sell. Jobs are scarce, but not all hope is lost. You will be surprised what you'll find in your home that's worth a lot of money to someone else. From rare coins to clothes, bags and shoes, it's time to sell what we don't need. If you haven't used it or thought about it in the last six months and it doesn't bring you joy, then it's time to move on. Once you've done this and you've run out of things to sell, start selling yourself. No, not like that, but start advertising your talents. You can use YouTube like I am, or websites like Fiverr, Etsy, WordSpread, SoundCloud. The list could go on. You could just be the next star, so never be afraid of entering a market that is already saturated. There's always room for one more. And step four, 
No guilt tripping. Listen, these are hard times. It's time to understand that guilt tripping yourself will only set you back further. So if you mess up, remember that realising your mistake is progress in itself. Have fun with your level up. Learn to laugh, to play, to dance, to sing and even to cry. Be self-aware and please be kind to yourself. Because after all, it is up to us to inspire desire.